Dear audience, my name is Chris Callens, director of the National Museum of Ceramics in Leeuwarden, the Netherlands. I welcome you to this special museum because it is not only the Museum of Ceramics, it is also the city palace of a princess of the Dutch royal family. And it is the birthplace of the famous graphic artist MC Escher. Today, they are joining us in a special series of concerts where music and the arts are joined. I wish you a pleasant stay in our palace where these elements come together. It is in 1893 that George Arnold Escher, together with his second wife and two children from his previous marriage, moves to the city of Leeuwarden. He is an hydraulic engineer who was appointed to the city to oversee the areas of Friesland and Groningen. And they find their home in the Princesshof. It is a few years later, in 1898, that his third son is born, and that is Maurits Cornelis Escher. The family still lives here for a few years, but Escher, after being five years old, moves together with the entire family to the city of Arnhem, where he grows up for most of his childhood. The connection between the Prinzessenhof and Escher doesn't stop there because his father still remains closely involved with the city and in particular to the Princess Hof. In 1970, this building becomes a museum and the founder, Nana Ottoma, showcases his enormous collection of ceramics from all over the world. In addition to that, he also shows the work of contemporary artists and he creates a society for the promotions of drawings and paintings. And one of the members of this society is George Escher. And it is he who suggests in the late 1920s to have an exhibition of his son, Maurits Escher. Maurits Escher is at that point living in Italy and already starting to develop himself as the artist for which he, we will know him on for later in his life. And the exhibition of his works is shown at the museum for a few weeks of time um, but it only attracts 12 visitors can you imagine because that is actually in stark contrast to the hundreds and thousands of visitors which are easily coming to an exhibition on Escher's work today. Escher felt a close connection to the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. Fascinated by Bach's often complex counterpoint compositions Escher found the source of inspiration in Bach's music. The power of his music, he wrote, fosters an irresistible desire for visual expression. The artist especially notes the imitative counterpoint form, like the canon and the fugue, and he draws a parallel to his own work. He says in the fugue, um, everything is based on a single motive. And also, in my work, everything revolves around a single closed contour. Bach wrote a set of 15 two-part inventions, of which a selection I will perform together with double bassist James Wessey. These inventions include elements of imitative counterpoint and ideas evolving out of one motive. As your son remembers, that some of the closest moments he experienced with his father were when they were listening in absolute silence to the music of Bach. And we hope that you will experience some of this closeness as we perform a selection of the inventions.